Nicky Collins after the 3-0 uh, defeat at uh, Cray Valley on Tuesday night. Nicky, I have to say that was a bit of a tough watch tonight. Yeah. Us. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was tough. Um, but to be fair, we've given the first goal away. Let him cut inside and shoot. That's too easy. Can't allow that to happen. Not early in the game. Not against a side of that quality. Um, and then it's up to us. We've got to stay in the game, which we did. Perfectly all right. Come out second half. Go down the slope. We're all right. I think we kept the ball well. You know, didn't create a lot, but we was in the game at that point. And then, um, unfortunately, Dan makes a mistake. And you're 2-0 down. You ain't coming back. Not, not with the way things are with us at the moment against a side of that quality. And tonight showed it. There's, you know, some really good players. You know, and they showed it. And they showed their class. Um, it was up to us to stay in the game. And that's what I wanted. Disappointed with the first goal. Very disappointed. Um, but at 1-0, we're still in the game. And the disappointment for the first goal stemming from? Well, just we've let the guy cut inside. You can't do that. You know, not early in the game. You, you know, you've got to be tighter and you've got to show him wide. And we haven't done that. And defensively, we've, we've given him a good strike, but it's got to be stopped. You, 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 can't, you can't defend like that. It's childish. And um, you know what? Against a team of that quality, out away from home, you, you can't concede a goal like that. And we have. And um, that's poor. Um, but I thought we reacted quite well couple of minutes and then we got ourselves together and then we worked hard and we stopped them and, and, and dealt with it and then when we got some ball we had some good passages of play didn't have a cutting edge but we've had two really good chances in that game to, to actually get goals and we haven't um, that's how it is at the moment and again it's a mistake probably two mistakes that's cost us you made changes tonight. You brought in uh, Devonati Roberts uh, at hard of defence. I'm presumably with one eye on the fact that uh, Steve Smith picked up a, a two-match ban for his tenth booking of the season. Absolutely, and you, you've got to make sure that you've got someone going into the big game on Saturday, which is what it is. Um, you know, you come away from home here tonight, and you know what, you, you get away with a point here. You've, you've had a result. Um, we knew it'd be a tough ass, a good side. Um, so we need to bed someone in. We need to get someone ready for the next three games, really. Um, to make sure that they're up and running and that's what we've done and um, to be fair I don't think he done, did a lot wrong I thought he was alright he was solid and um, he coped quite well with it so um, he's a good signing he's a good lad and he needs to get his match fitness but um, it'll, it'll be good for us and we needed it we needed to strengthen in that position and we've done it and uh, on the bench uh, Junior Johnson Jordan, Jordan uh, yeah, Jordan Johnson, yeah. Well, he came in as you know through Palms. He's come back to football. Had an earlier up before Christmas. Was at Leverhead and Hornchurch before that. He's come in, and again, it's just somebody we need. We need quality on the ball. We need people in there that can actually, at times, to get on the ball and make us tick, you know, and try and bring Lou into the game. And I don't think we've done that enough tonight. I don't think we we worked their back three, which is a quality back three. I don't think we worked them hard enough to actually exploit them in certain areas. And the two times we've done it, we nearly scored. And you know, you made changes tonight you know with the you know leaving Bobby Dunn out on the bench and things like that but you know what that was one eye on Saturday as well yeah, one eye on Saturday, but also Quaker deserves a chance, you know, and he's worked his socks off tonight and he's gone in there and done a really good job. So at the end of the day, sometimes you've got to look at, is it what you do on the ball or is it sometimes what you do off the ball? And uh, I think, you know, Bob's got great quality on the ball, um, but at times, you know, the first goal Saturday, he's not tracked the guy back and um, we've got overloaded. Um, so you look at that defensive side of it, I knew we'd be up against it tonight. Sometimes it's certain games suit so, so, certain people and um, I just thought Quaker. You know, it would suit him tonight, and I see he ain't done nothing wrong. He's done really well. So um, that's it. That's the strength of having a squad, and that's something we haven't had all year. And you can make changes. Has it made a difference to the result? Not at all. So um, you know what? And everyone needs to play. You need to get everyone playing so that if, you know if you have an injury or whatever, they're already at the at the races. And now we move on to Saturday. Um, you know, we knew how crucial the uh, two previous games was to this one, and. Um Lancing's the same on Saturday. Everyone is. Everyone is now. It's the running. You know, we know what we got to do. You know, luckily everyone around us is tripping themselves up. Um, but we know where we are. We know what position we're in. They know it. They're disappointed in there. But you know what? You've got a group of boys there that we're having a discussion at the end there, which is nice and calm. And they understand what, what we want. They understand how we can improve. And we're going to try. And they're all in now fighting for it. And they know. And they're disappointed there. Even Dan the goalie who's made the mistake with the second goal. They understand what we're trying to achieve and what we will. And if they keep that belief and we get the quality and we actually create more chances against the sides that we can pick points up from, we'll be OK. Um, it's just disappointing tonight to, to be in that position. And, and again, you've, you've, you know, we've let him cut inside for the first goal. We've dropped one in our net for the second one. And the third one, we've given the ball away. They've gone through and scored. That's it. It's 3-0. And we've missed two good chances. And just finally, injuries um, to Field Rogers, you know, who uh, 
lad's come back from his rematch ban, picks up a groin injury at Herne Bay last week, misses out on Saturday. What's the, what's the news on him? Well, he hasn't trained, so um, we haven't trained. So at the end of the day, until until we can prove a fitness, there's no point in playing somebody that's got a knock and then they blow up for the next six weeks because we've got a long running. So at the end of the day, he's come and done a warm-up tonight. It looks like he's got through it. I'll have a chat with him tomorrow and see how he is. And then, it, and then he can come back into the squad and that gives us another another you know possibility of how we play and what we do. So that's how you've got to nursemaid these things. You can't just throw people in and, and then end up with a six-week, seven-week injury because that doesn't help us in any way, shape or form. Mickey, as always, thanks for your time. Cheers, Andrew. Appreciate it.